Why did you want to move your headquarters and how did you pick Boston? We were on 570 Lexington Avenue for 40 years and then we moved to Fairfield, Connecticut. And we moved to Fairfield, Connecticut really because our executives lived in Greenwich and the taxes were zero. For about 10 years, I wanted to be in a city. I, I, I just think um, there's something, and not that I'm in the office that much, but there's something about being able to walk out your door, see a customer, see an investor, see what's going on, the vibrancy of a city that you don't have. You know, when I would be in my office in Fairfield and I would look out the window, I could see the Merritt Parkway and deer running for their lives as they were crossing. <laughs> and it was idyllic, it was beautiful, but there was nothing going on. Really, right. and I had, a, I had an office that was probably as big as the first house I owned, and I could really crawl in that office and just sit there for like three and a half years, and nobody would ever kind of, is he in there? I don't right. know. A, yeah. I, I thought it was important to be in a city, to modernize the company, to, to be in the flow of ideas, uh, and I wanted to be in a place where we would be important, and Boston's been awesome. I think okay. Boston's great, a great place, yeah. So you're very happy with it? Yeah, no, look, I'd like, I, I think uh, high tech, good schools, uh, a great community. But the thing that about Boston that people don't understand, it's, it's, a, it's got a chip on its shoulder. It's a towny town, you know? Good sports teams, and there's a competitive, in-your-face attitude in Boston that I also think is quite healthy for a company.